Emmy nominated. Steve We got almost here. We're almost here for the Emmys. You excited, nervous, ready to kick some butts? Two of the three. And we get to play at home and pick which ones they are? That's exactly right. Excellent. So, have you been going to a lot of these parties? Are you have any rituals that you're looking Yeah, yeah, no, there's a lot of events this week. It's a pretty full uh, calendar, I'm not complaining. Uh, there were very many years where I wasn't invited to anything. So I'm, uh, there's, no, there's nothing I don't say yes to now. I mean, I will, I will go to a, you know, a bar mitzvah. Bar mitzvah, of course. That's like that's a big thing, you know. When they put a new thing on the end of the shopping and the grocery store aisle, I'll, I'll do. Oh, look! I'll go to that. Excellent. Anything, you name it. I'm there. Fantastic. And I think, I mean, this will give you lots of uh, ideas then for Modern Family because there are always crazy people at these events. Uh, yes, but the, none of these people ha are, have any relation to real life because we're all walking on a cloud. So that's not, you know, sort of the everyday world. But yeah, you know, you can listen, you can steal a good story from anybody. It's always my, my motto. I was telling Ty he has to start like causing trouble for you guys. He was saying, you know, it's yeah, he's he's not a, he's not enough of a he's not getting enough uh, um, tabloid time for us. No, I meant like causing trouble in your lives. You know, you guys draw on your lives yeah. to get stories. So yeah. it's for him to have more Well, sometimes he'll just drop by. Oh, okay. He's like that neighbor that just drops by and uh, you know, we'll sort of mention something, bring in a story idea to us, and then my kids and I will sit around and discuss it and go off on our little adventures and then in the end in about a half hour from then it gets very sweet and we all hug and it's, it's really nice it's a joyful place it is <laughs> so modern family season two obviously we've talked about like the earthquake and stuff like that but what else what have you been working on oh, since I, I saw nothing you? trying to do the stories and try to get past the emmys um clearly we're giving we you haven't too much broke this time. a broken a single story since we started production um uh <laughs> <laughs> we keep you at too many parties, clearly. Really? Uh, no, I really, it is more of the same. It's a lot of fun little stories. I'm so boring at this because that's what it is. But, you know, if we had, like, big, giant things to report, then it wouldn't feel like real life. Yeah. We're the little real-life people. Well, but there is a big thing I've heard that uh, there's going to be, like, a significant kiss for between, I mean, that yes, is... Yes, yes. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, it, it's maybe, it hasn't maybe. happened yet on for yeah. your show. One could argue that that is a thing, uh, that that's a significant thing. Um, it's something that we've planned, planned the story like for six months or more. Uh, we talked about it several times last season, and it's just a, it's a story that will not, it'll not be what people expect. But it does deal with um, the whole episode deals with the power of a kiss. So I assume we're still talking about Cam and Mitch here. We're we talking also about maybe perhaps some of the children getting uh, growing it's, up a little bit too much. Uh, there are uh, many people involved in these various kisses, and you will have to tune in to find out. Oh, look at that excellent tease! How Steve is bringing it. How about